So now let's get into CIDR. So CIDR is a way for me to subnet out. And what I mean by that is I can break my classful address scheme up into smaller uh, smaller groups. All right, this this makes the network more efficient. It also makes uh, it might make it easier for me uh, to lay out my network without having to waste a bunch of IP addresses. All right, and the way that I do that is I borrow bits from the host portion, and it is and I assign them now to the network portion or the subnet. All right, so slash notation is what we typically see when we're representing a CIDR address or a classless address uh, and what you're used to seeing for like a, uh, a class C uh, is 24 bits is part of your network so the first three octets because 888 uh, represents the network so you have zero subnet bits to use eight host bits to use and your mask ends up being 255, 255, 255, 0 so this is traditional here, all right? Where CIDR really starts coming into play is when you actually start borrowing bits. So the slash 25, all right? So we borrowed a bit here, which leaves seven bits to represent our hosts. And this is what we end up with: is we borrowed this first bit and we said, "You are a network bit." So this is this is the mask representation. So what we end up with is 255, 255, 255. 128 because remember this is this is a 2 to the 7th power which is 128 all right now slash 26 we've borrowed two bits and we're left with six bits all right so 1 2 and then the 6 so this is 128 plus 64 which is 192 all right so that's how we're we're going to come up with these mask values and because of the the way that we always borrow bits you're always going to see these digits 128 192 224 240 248 252 now you're gonna see these all the time uh, and even 254 even if you're doing class A's and class B's alright here we're just gonna I'm only gonna focus on class C's because they're a little bit easier alright slash 27 we've borrowed three bits we've left with five or the 224 and we, we go down the line now typically we stop at the slash 30 uh, because it represents six uh, subnet bits and two host bits now if I've got two host bits I can do this I can do a zero zero I can do a zero one I can do a one zero and I can do a one one that's how I count in binary so those four digits is uh, is all the hosts that I can represent. Now remember, the 00 and the 11 are the network and the broadcast. So the only ones that I can use for real hosts are 01 and 10, which is done all the time on point to point links. All right? So this is typically where people stop, but you can do a slash 31, which only gives me one host bit. Uh, one host bit, I can only have a 0 and a 1 which seems kind of crazy because all zeros means it's a network all ones means it's a broadcast which means I don't have anything left over for hosts in certain networks this is still valid it'll work uh, it's not advised but it will work but your typical uh, traditional subnetting uh, for the class C ranges will be from 25 to 30 I just want wanted to make you aware that there are slash 31's out there they're just not as common alright and again if you memorize 128, 192, 224, 240, 248, 252 it'll make your life a lot easier uh, when it comes to uh, building these subnets alright so let's go to CIDR2 so here we're gonna do an example we've got the 192.168.0.0 network uh, and we are going to break it into uh, we're going to subnet it down All right. in this case I'm going to do a slash 25 now slash 25 remember uh, I'm only borrowing one bit because the first 24 bits are typically in a class C address are all network bits already 
and so now I've borrowed one bit from that last octet. So my last octet is going to be one and all zeros. All right. So that is the actual mask. So I e I can either memorize that a slash twenty five is a is a two fifty five two fifty five two fifty five one twenty eight, or I can say that okay this last bit is two to the seventh, so it's one twenty eight. So I can do 255.255.255 because remember the first 24 bits are always ones in the class C range. I borrowed one bit and it has now become 255.255.255.128. Okay? So there's a couple things that I can very quickly do. I can figure out my block size. So what is a block size? Block size is uh, after I've you know basically segmented the network this block size represents how many IPs exist in each of those subnets right so if I do 256 which is the total number of that I can represent with 8 bits uh, I'm gonna subtract this last mask so 256 minus 128 is 128 alright so if I want to figure out uh, how I've divided this out, I just count with my block size. So I always start at zero, all right, and then the next one up would be 128, and then the next one up would be 256, which is invalid as far as using that uh, with eight bits. All right, so I, ha I now have the zero network and I have the 128 network alright I guess I can put that there make it easier for you to see 0 to 128 now my broadcast addresses remember network addresses are all zeros so we've done we basically made left these as all zeros and that's why we ended up with uh, 128 But remember this can be this represents the network as far as the host but as far as the subnet itself it's just, this is a, like a placeholder so this could be a zero or a one so if it's a zero and these are all zeros I ended up on the zero network if I change this to a one and left these as zeros I'm on the 128 network so the equivalent for the broadcast is leaving this as a zero to represent this is the zero subnetwork make all of these ones I end up with 127 and then for the one network and then making these all ones for the broadcast I end up with 255 alright now you can also look at it as okay I already calculated my block size zero or as 128 I did the 0 and 128 networks now I know the highest IP in each of the uh, sub networks is going to be the broadcast. So I can say, okay, this is the very next subnetwork is 128. So if I go one digit less than that, I'm going to be at the broadcast address of the previous subnetwork. So that's why 127 here. And then the highest number I can go for this network is 255. All right. Now subnets. So how many subnets have I created? Well, I can do 2 to the power of n, which is the number of network bits that I borrowed. So 2 to the power of 1 is 2. All right. So I've basically subnetted out and made two different networks. All right. Each of those networks has 128 IPs assigned to it. Now all of those aren't usable IPs for my host because remember I lose the network and I lose a broadcast. So my usable IP is either you can do block size minus 2 which is 128 here minus 2 so 126 or you can do 2 to the power of n or h which is my host bit so 2 to the power of 7 uh, is 128 and then subtract 2 which is 126 right. so that's all subnetting is it's just taking uh, the addresses that you're given that you're assigned and breaking them out into smaller networks so a slash 25 
basically divides it in half. 128 addresses the left over, block size 128. And then you go through, okay, and calculate, okay, I can count up by my block size, and that's now my network. And you can do the, the binary equivalence by just changing uh, or counting in this uh, network bit that you borrowed. And we'll see that play out in some of the latter, uh, the latter ones. So CIDR 3. This is the last one that I'm going to do uh, so that you kind of get an understanding. Uh, and I'll actually put an address up here so that you can kind of see it play out. All right, so I've got 192.168.0.141. All right, and I want to uh, make that a slash 29. All right, so what is a slash 29? Well, so I've got the first 24 bits, and I got 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. All right, then 30, 31, 32. So I've borrowed these first five bits and made them network uh, or subnetwork bits. All right. So I can do a couple of things. I do two different methods here. I well three really. I can either know that a slash twenty nine uh, is X, you know, as far as a, a subnet mask, or I can calculate it out. I can. I can add 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus uh, 16 plus 8. And that's going to give me that last octet's value. Or I can do what's, what's left over. I've got 3 bits. I know with 3 bits I can represent, uh, let's see, 8 total values. And so I can do 256 minus 8. So 255.255.256 minus 8 is 248. And that's the same thing I would get if I added up 128, 64, 32, 16, and 8. Alright? I'd end up with a 248. Or again, I can memorize that a slash 29 is a 248. Alright. I like to know both methods. Uh, that way, uh, if I'm subnetting a class B, I know how to come down here and figure out, okay, the binary or the decimal equivalent of borrowing that many, you know, binary bits equals 248. You know, it just might be 255, 255, 248.0. But let's let's continue to move on. So our mask. Alright. So we've now uh, figured out that our mask is actually this. Let me move that there. And what we can do is uh, if we want to identify just the network and broadcast address that this one falls into, we can do the compare that we did before. If there's a 1 down in the mask, we're going to copy this down. If there's a 0 in the address, we're not going to copy this portion. So what you're going to end up with is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. All right, so that's going to be 128 plus uh, looks like uh, 8. 128 plus 8. All right, which 128 plus 8. So we know we're on the 136 network. All right. Another way to do that is with your block size. All right. So your block size says it says 256 minus your mask. So 256 minus 248 is 8. Alright? And so we just need to count up by 8 until we get into the range of this address. The the basically the network right before this one. Because if you pass it, you're into the next network. Uh, so a way to cheat uh, instead of counting all the way by Eight is I know uh, this is after 128, uh, which is halfway. So I'm going to start at 128, and then I'm just going to count up by eights. So if I do 128 plus eight, I have 136 plus eight, 144. 
Now I've passed this address, so I'm into the next network. But this is good because I know one less than this is the broadcast address. So I can write down 143 and I can go back. I can subtract my 8 and I'm at 136. So I've verified that I'm on the 136 network using a broadcast address of 143. Now another method of, of figuring out that broadcast address is again I can take what's up here because again we copy down anything with a 1 in it I'm going to copy down because that represents a network. So I've done uh, 1001 zero, zero, one. 1001 zero, zero, one. Mr. Zero and then with these last three digits I'm going to say this is a broadcast address, so these are all ones, one, one, one. So I know one, one, one isn't is uh is seven. So I could take one thirty six plus seven, and I'm going to end up with one forty three. So I'm just I can do it the binary binary method, or I can do it uh you know just like I did. 256 minus the mask gives me a block size of 8. I count out by 8 or count up by 8 until I get to the network right before this digit or right before this IP address. So I end up with 136. And then I go to the next one, which starts at 144, and I subtract one. So I'm at 143. All right. So that's the one you can do pretty much in your head, or you can go through and do the the binary method uh, to be sure that you've got the right values. All right, so subnets. 2 to the power of n. So 2 to the power of the number of network bits that we borrowed. So we borrowed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 2 to the power of 5. All right, to the power of 5, if we go all the way back to our binary, 2 to the power of 5 is 32. All right, so oops, wrong tab. So I have 32 subnets that I have created. So I took what was a class C address, and I just had one network of 254 total users. Um, now I've broken it down, and I've made it uh, 32 subnets. <coughs> But if I look at my usable hosts, I got to subtract the two for uh, my network and my broadcast. So what I can do is I can take my block size and subtract two. So I've got eight. So I've got usable of six. Or I can do the actual math and do two to the power of h, which is my host bits. Two to the power of three. Two to the power of three is eight minus two, which is six. All right. So I've created 32 subnets. Each of those subnets can support six users. And I happen to know that this particular user is on the 136 network, and it uses a broadcast address of 143. All right? So that's subnetting. All right? You can, you can do it quickly using the 256 minus mask, get your block size, uh, keep adding up your block size till you get there. You can do it that way. It's a, it's a fast method to do it. Or you can do the binary equivalent. I think you need to understand the binary equivalent. That way you kind of know what's going on in the background. It, and it, it'll kind of clear up some of the ambiguity if you kind of get lost. All right. So I hope you've learned something uh, from uh, my subnetting a uh, little bit here. Uh, if anything isn't clear, shoot me an email, make a comment, and uh, I will you know, make every attempt uh, to kind of clear it up for you. So uh, thanks for watching.